Hey, check me out on YouTube. I do dieting, I do fitness, I do weight training. All you got to do is like, subscribe, and share. The number you have dialed. Please note, the new number is. I want to show people all a lot of stuff you can do. It's just a regular stationary bike warm up. Okay, this really helps with the legs. You get the blood flowing. You know, you get the blood moving in the legs. Cause we got legs today. You know, you can change the resistance with this little knob right here push it up, it gets harder. You see? It gets harder. When you push it down, it gets easier. You get the pump. Pump. Blood flow. Get warm. Cardio. I hope you're paying attention. Did you think I'm doing this for my health? <laughs> I am. <laughs> like I always tell you, leg days is one of the most important days to train. Don't skip leg days. You're going to burn the most calories. If you, It don't matter what your goal. If you're a bodybuilder, it helps get the fat off you. If you just want overall fat loss, whatever your goal is, it's one of the most beneficial days. So don't skip leg day. Change up the workout. You want to, you know, change up your routine. It's good for your mind. It's good just to switch things up. First, the quad in the butt. These are the primary muscles right here. Okay, you define and you tone it. As you can see, I'm out of breath, so that's cardio as well. You don't have to be on cardio equipment to get cardio. This is cardio right here with your weight training, so you should try this. But it's good for the quads and the glute. And sometimes we come to the gym. And we get, we go through the motions. It's good to switch things up, get different exercises in. It's good for your mind in that way. Abduction machine. You pushing your, you getting your legs in and you going out. You push it out. Abduction. So you get it in. You should feel it in your hips right here, your butt, your hips, okay? If you have problems with your posture and stuff, this is gonna help you correct your posture, the way you walk, the way you perform, if you play sports, all of that stuff. All these exercises count to an overall better you. So that's why you do it. I don't just train just to look good. I wanna feel better in everything I do in life. You know, you know walking. Um, playing sports, whatever I'm doing, you know, you, you protecting yourself overall. So on the last machine, you was going out. 
This time you're going in. So you start with your legs on the outside and you're squeezing together. Okay. On this machine, you're gonna feel your groin, you know, all this, you're getting all this stronger, okay? So, real good, if you're a runner, you know, this is probably gonna help you with your speed and, you know, your endurance, all this weight training helps if you're into running sports, you know, all that stuff, so try this. Now, you can't just come in the gym and do squats all day. If you want a better looking physique, you gotta try a different machine. You know, switch up your routine. Your body adapts. The body is an adaptive mechanism. You wanna switch things up so your body don't get used to stuff. So that's why I try different exercise. You know, of course squats in general, deadlifts are good, but they're great actually, but you wanna switch things up because your body adapts. Okay, this is for the hamstrings, okay, the back of the leg, right here. That's the hamstring. You know, we usually do, I showed you deadlifts last time. That's how you target this muscle back here. This is a deadlift, okay. Now we finna use the machine. Prone leg curl. <laughs> okay, so you laying down. You laying down and you curling. Just like the arm, you're using your legs. Squeeze, control the weight. Control the weight. Let the bus in. Like you said, let them tell them control it. Don't just let it fall down. Control it on the way up and the way down. Uh, your toes outward, kind of, kind of hard, but got to try. One, two, like a ballerina. <laughs> You train to improve your strength. You train to improve your, your your ability, the way you walk, the way you perform in life. And on the, on the way there, you're gonna improve, I mean, you're gonna lose weight when you train. But if you're coming to the gym with the sole purpose of weight loss, you're probably gonna lose that battle because you don't lose weight with exercise alone. Dieting is your number one goal. The number one way to lose weight and it's the number one way to gain weight too you know the way you eat every day that tells you if you're gonna gain or lose weight exercise is just maintenance for the body weight training is maintenance for the body you know so hopefully you understand that it's not necessarily about how hard you work in the gym you know, you can work hard. You can burn a lot of calories. You can get, uh, you can sweat. You can sweat profusely. You know, you can sweat real hard. It ain't about how hard you work in the gym necessarily. It's about how hard you work outside the gym. You know, it's about your, your dedication. It's about your discipline. What are you gonna keep outside of your body? Are you gonna keep you know, you know, bread, the cheese, the unhealthy foods. That's what it's about when it comes to weight loss and health, you know. So you should strongly consider about focusing on your 
diet more than your exercise, if that makes sense. It's about dieting. How disciplined are you? So I want to thank you for watching this video. Stay determined. Stay motivated. Stay in the gym. Stay, you know, stay working on your diet. Um, you got to be consistent at the end of the day. If you do this one time a week, it's not going to work for you. Consistency is key. Um, stay in tune. I got dieting videos. I got uh, living with lupus videos as well. Stay in tune. I got a lot more information and videos to bring to you. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm going to see you in the next one.